On Tuesday night, Iran launched its largest ever missile attack on Israel. The barrage, which targeted Israeli military bases, was mostly intercepted by Israel's aerial defense system with assistance from allies like the US and the UK. Iran used ballistic missiles which follow high altitude trajectories similar to previous attacks on Israel this year. These weapons can travel outside the Earth's atmosphere before re-entering, making them difficult to intercept. This strike, while unexpected in its timing, follows growing tensions in the region. For months, experts have warned of possible escalation due to the Israel's war on Gaza. Israel's offensive, which began after Hamas' deadly October 7 attack, has resulted in over 40,000 Palestinian deaths. The conflict has since expanded into Lebanon, where Israel is now fighting Hezbollah, a key Iranian ally. The heightened violence in Gaza and southern Lebanon has raised concerns of border regional war. While Israel's air defense throttled many of the missiles, some did reach their targets. Several Israeli airbase were hit and craters appeared in central and southern areas. In Hod Hashron, a building was destroyed, though no serious injuries were reported. However, one person in the Western Bank was killed and at least one missile stuck a school in Israel. Iran has warned that it has more missiles ready to launch if Israel retaliates. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed that Iran would pay for the attack, signaling that this conflict may escalate further.